Last clip from the WND vault, we told you about some of the issues from the South Shore line. But what is it like taking the train? Yeah, we head back to the WNDU vault once again to find out what it was like back then. The first train leaves South Bend for Chicago at 10 minutes to 6 each weekday morning. This morning, we were on it. We talked with the passengers. Uh, how important is the South Shore to you? Well, very important. So probably the only means of transportation. Several other passengers also work in Chicago and use the South Shore every day. They don't mind the two-hour, 15-minute commute. Any New Yorker knows that if you take a train in from uh, Long Island, an hour and a half commute into the big city, work, and an hour and a half train ride back to the suburbs, jump in your car and go home is normal. Uh, that's all we're doing here. Thousands of passengers who travel the South Shore know the advantages. The opportunity to sleep and read. The chance to avoid parking and weather problems. Shoppers, sightseers, sports fans, and travelers also realize the benefits. I need to be in Chicago by 9 o'clock this morning, and I would have no other way to get there. I hate to drive. Well, I don't have a car, so for me to get home without the South Shore means I would have to either rent a car or take a bus, which would probably deter me from going home too often. Some commuters have talked about the what if. What if the South Shore ends its trip in Michigan City? Well, we might form a carpool to Michigan City. We might uh, get somebody to start uh, some kind of a little commuter bus. These passengers believe the railroad can survive, and most are willing to pay more than the current $16 round-trip ticket price. Some even suggest more innovative ideas. Advertising the property values in South Bend and the time spent commuting, which most people in Chicago will commute at least an hour anyhow, why not spend an extra 45 minutes or so to live in South Bend, where your dollar goes further? The South Shore provides an important source of transportation, not only for commuters who depend on it, but for citizens who expect to run when they need it. There are alternatives, but perhaps none as economical or convenient. On board the South Shore, Janine Gazdecki, New Center 16. Classic. It's funny because um, it, she said it was $16. It's actually cheaper now. I think I took it was like... The, it was like a dollar I, cheaper I or something don't like know that. Their Not current like a, oh no, I prices. just took it. Did I you? just took it. Yeah. yeah, it's like it'd be like a dollar or two cheaper. I think it's yeah. like fourteen something. And again, I don't know too. Uh, When's you know, the last time you were on the South that. Shore Line? Uh, it hasn't been that long ago, but I can't remember what the what the prices were. I think you know one thing I, I love about the South Shore is uh, you know I'm I'm always a guy who has to drive. You know, okay. typical yeah. family, right? I'd rather sit on the train and get some work done. You know, I can I can be on my computer. I can get some things done. I don't have to worry about the traffic. It kind of takes. I told you what I was doing, sleeping so, on back. It was yeah. very comfortable. It's a lot <laughs> less rocky than it yeah. seems like in the that package sure. right there. No, it's amazing how many poems you can write on the South Shore. You know, I mean, you got two hours to get there. So <laughs> <laughs> Gary's like, how many poems, poems so. could I do in two hours? I have.